welcome to our web class. This is Fundamentals of Accountancy, Business and Management 1, Module 6 or Week 6 topic. So at the end of this lesson, you will be able to analyze common business transactions using the rules of debit and credit. Also, you, you will be able to solve simple problems and exercises in the analysis of business transactions. So as we all know, there are three types of business. We have service, merchandising, and manufacturing. When you say service, it provides services at a fee. Merchandising, it is a buy and sell of finished products. Manufacturing makes and sells finished products. Okay, so the capital of your business means that money invested in your business. So there are two types of business transactions. You have financial financial transactions and non-financial transactions. So for financial transactions, these are those activities that change the value of an asset, liability, or an equity. So examples, you receive cash from your client as advance payment on repairing their washing machine or payment of utilities like water bill or your electricity bill. Other example of financial transaction is when your company buys a printer for your office at the amount of 6,000 pesos. For non-financial transactions, so these are transactions that do not involve the flow of money or goods and services. So it, this occurs when a business or commerce activity concludes without a transfer of money between accounts for parties tied to the transaction. So examples, um, hiring of employee or terminating an employees or other example we have recognition form the government as most outstanding business so it doesn't involve money at all or another example we have the company orders 50 packs of brown envelopes from the bookstore at 15 pesos per pack okay so whenever a transaction is to be recorded the accountant has to ascertain what accounts of assets, liabilities, equity, revenue, or expense it affects, and what monetary value is to be assigned to that effect. So the various transactions details we need in order to proceed with the analyzing, identifying, and measuring phase are found in a document called source document. Examples of source documents are official receipt or a cash receipt, charge invoice or a sales invoice, check or cash voucher. So when you say official receipt or commonly known as OR, this is the document used when a business receives money or a check. So this acknowledges that money or a check has been received. Okay. For, and by the way, official receipt is used when you acquire service from a company okay so they provide you or as you pay them charge invoice or sales invoice so this document used when a service has been rendered but the client will be billed only after a certain number of days from the date of service it's often a company will issue a statement of account to a customer so with a charge or a sales invoice attached so sales invoice for goods and official receipt for services another we have check or cash voucher so this document use is used when a check is issued to pay a certain supplier or vendor and it serves as a record payment and proof that payment has been made by the company so when rules on debits and credits the debits and credits are an integral part of the journalizing process right so in accounting, debits or credits are abbreviated as DR and CR respectively. So debits, DR, credits, CR. So when to debit and when to credit. So an increase in an asset account is called a debit, this one. And an increase in a liability or equity account is called credit. So if we decrease an asset account, we, credited, we credit that account. And if we decrease a liability or equity account, we debit those accounts, okay? So the rules on debits and credits. First, the name of the account to be debited is always listed first. So the debited account is listed on the first line 
with the amount in the left side of the left side of the register. Next is the credited account is listed on the second line and is usually indented. The credited amount is recorded on the right side of the register. The total amount of debit should always equal the total amount of credit. And the increase in assets are recorded as debits. Decreases are recorded as credits. Another is increases in liabilities are recorded as credits and decreases are recorded as um, debits. An increase in equity are recorded as credits and decrease are recorded as debit. So example, transaction. The transaction is the investment of capital. So Ms. Gina Abastas invested 5 million pesos into her business on January 1, 2021. So this is recorded as follows. First, you have to write the, de the date, which is January 1. Then first, cash as your debit. And you must um, put it here, the indention, then G. Abastas Capital, then followed by the explanation. So my explanation here is to record investment of capital into the business. You can use hashtag here. And the amount next is the amount for the debit and amount for the credit. So like the rules on debit and credit, the amount of debit must be always equal to the amount of credit. Another example here is on February 17, 2021, Glenn hired Karen Rolette as part-timer, an experienced secretary. So the real entry is no entry at all because this is not a financial transaction. It doesn't involve money. So for February 20, 2021, Glenn repaired the computer of Giselle McCannin and collected 12,000 pesos. So how do you record this one? So you have to put here the date, February 20, 2021. Your debit is cash since Glenn collected 12,000 pesos at the amount of 12,000 pesos. Then your credit is service revenue, 12,000 pesos. So your explanation could be um, the amount received on the service rendered. So those examples were just simple business transactions and non-financial transactions. So that's all for this topic. Thank you so much.